Hello and welcome to episode 39 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Eggy is now a league champion. He's done it with Inter. Look at that, finishing 21 points ahead of Juventus. Absolute insanity. Let's go and take a look at the players who dominated Serie A this season. It was Icardi who grabbed the 17 goals that basically fired us to a very, very comfortable in the end. Ridiculously comfortable Scudetto. And, uh, well, it was all the midfield players chipping in, which probably did it for us. Balde, he made it into the team of the season. The only player in the team of the season. Uh, Martinez deputised well with 12 goals. Perisic with 10. Pesetto in there, he scored seven goals. We only scored six, unfortunately, with Eggy. We did a pretty good job of getting very close to at least the top 22 scoring players. We couldn't quite manage it. In terms of assists, Brozovic dominating. But Mira, Nain, Golan, Mario all contributing as well creative midfield that it was. Eggy again, just narrowly missed out on that. So we end our first season with 14 appearances for the club, six goals and three assists. Pretty good. The average rating of six is, is poor. Um, we we'll definitely look to improve on that. It's 0.3 lower than our average rating for the career, but still we should be aiming a lot higher. 46% manager trust level. He did play in the last three games of the season. Uh, hopefully he's a regular starter now. Let's take a look at the stats. I mean, we are well ahead of where we're expected to be. At the moment, we're trying to turn him into an absolutely explosive speed demon, powerful as well. And yeah, I mean, his speed and explosive power all looking great. If we can get them up into the 85 pluses for both of them, maybe get his physical contact up to 75. It's going to be a real handful. And he's got a nice spread of stats up the top as well to provide the crucial pass or shot at the end of his mazy runs that he's inevitably going to do. We could maybe look to do some more player skills, one touch pass, fighting spirit, amazing run. Could maybe do with a few more there that's a discussion we can have and with that well let's move in to the 2021 2022 season can Inter Milan I mean there's no way that we can replicate such an incredible season but if we can be in the fight for the Scudetto to win consecutive Serie A titles that would be quite special and here we are a little uh, little rundown of our appearances so far Waslan Beveren it feels like such a long time ago we were in Belgium we had a decent time there we did only scored 16 goals in 46 appearances PSV, we really started to turn it on, didn't we? 30 goals in 56 appearances is pretty special. We're on a similar sort of trajectory now. We had a difficult start at Inter. We started at PSV a lot quicker. Um, obviously, we played a lot more games. We could, well, we should be scoring more goals, as many goals, if not more goals, in 56 appearances for Inter. Let's hope this is a good season. Let's get into it. So it'll be interesting to see whether Inter Milan decide to strengthen in this transfer window. We are into the International Champions Cup now, which should be interesting. I am going to play it in this episode. We'll have a Champions Cup special. Uh, Benfica, City and PSG. It's the big guns and Benfica to play against. Should be interesting. It should give us a bit of a flavour of the Champions League campaign that we've got coming. And then we start, well, with the Italian Super Cup against Roma. And then we start the season at the San Siro against Atalanta. And then boom, we invite Juventus to the San Siro as well still in August. It's a huge August. It's a huge few weeks coming up. Yeah, we are going to play the Champions Cup and hopefully we start. Let's keep going. So the Champions Cup kicks off today and we are starting for the first game against Benfica. Getting yourself noticed in time for the season opener is key. Show me what you've got. Okay, let's do it. I mean, Spalletti seems to be Team Eggy. He certainly does. Uh, it'll either be Mario who probably starts with us. Um, let's take a look and see how it's going to line up. Yeah, it will be Mario alongside us. We're in quite a good position, really. There aren't too many other players you can play in attacking midfield. And if Eggy continues to perform well, then I think we probably can keep this spot. That was one of the reasons we picked this side, and it seems to be paying off with some decent minutes already. Team not much change. Valero in central midfield. No place for assist leader Brozovic or nine going on the downward arrow today. Up against Benfica. Jonas up front. It's a side we know well from the last series of Become a Legend, where Gabby played there. To some success. We didn't stay there too long. Alex Grimaldo, their left back, is probably their best player. He is absolutely world class. And the keeper has got a lovely head of hair. Oh, and Eggy's on a downward arrow. I actually didn't spot that. Okay, well, despite that, let's do it. So at the end of the season and over the break before the new season started, Eggy's had time to uh, bed in a bit in Milan and uh, was having a little look for some Indonesian restaurants for him. He loves his Indonesian food. He loves his uh, flavours of home. Not a lot going on in Milan. I've struggled. Maybe some of you can find a purely Indonesian restaurant, not one that is described as having Indonesian-style dishes. Doesn't seem to exist in the whole of Milan, which is crazy. It's not like there aren't any other types of food in Milan. Obviously, if you do live in Italy, you know, you've already got, arguably, the best type of food there, and they do it very well, so why would you need to eat 
other nations' food. Although Indonesian food is delicious, so I'd suggest it to anyone who lives in Milan if they want to maybe make it themselves. So that's maybe a little issue for Eggy. Maybe part of the reason why he struggled to settle quickly. Obviously Antwerp and Eindhoven, his last two cities he's lived in, had huge Indonesian populations. Uh, a lot of Indonesian restaurants. He was very quickly able to feel at home. Maybe not the same in Milan, but he's been there for a good few months now. So hopefully he's uh, feeling a little bit more at home. We can start this season as we finish the last on an absolute tear up. Right, let's do it. Perisic. Cardi back out to him. Takes it under control. Oh, lovely footwork there. And Mario is played in. It's a dangerous ball. <laughs> Cardi's there. Eggy was as well. Neither of them could get to it. Edison can header it into touch. First chance of the game there. Half chance, maybe. Benfica. That's a good ball into Gedson. Into Milan. Defender has a swing and a miss at it. Now we can bring it forward on the counter here. Mario into a Cardi. Oh, what a turn that is from the captain. Eggy wants it played through. It's a race between him and Diop. Not a race he's going to win there. It's unlucky. Icardi into Eggy. Hasn't been able to do much in this one. Lays it off to Valero. That's not a great ball. Really slow down that counter. Ball into Eggy. Finds Icardi. This is better. Perisic can slip through Eggy here. Will he get to this? He will. Head to the box. No. Oh, ooh, somehow he's still got it. Into, oof, into Icardi. Very close there. Couldn't quite pull the trigger, the captain. Mario lays it back to Perisic. Back into Mario now, Icardi. He's got Eggy to look for in the centre with the overhead kick. Wow, what a hit that was. Straight at the keeper, though. Otherwise, that was certainly going in. It had power, had direction. Fortunately, a little bit too close to the Benfica keeper. That's flicked into the box. It's not going to find Eggy. Time is nearly out here, and Gedson can clear. Oh, what an end to that half that would have been. Not been a great half of football, to be honest. Eggy on a red arrow, which basically gives you the stamina of a Sunday League player, or a Sunday League player who's been out and had 13 pints, three kebabs the night before. He really started to slow down late in the game. One shot on target was that acrobatic overhead kick from Eggy. Almost found a Cardi as well. It's not easy on a red arrow, and also we're getting used to football again after a summer of celebrating in Milan. Benfica, slightly brighter. I think we can go on and maybe play a little bit better in the second half. No, we definitely can play better. Can we play well enough to score? Hopefully, yes. Right, come on. Rafa Silva, good ball in into Jonas. That's really well dealt with by Renokia. Eggy dispossessed, though. Benfica will get it back here. Under a little bit of pressure here. That's a good ball out to Servi, the substitute. You can slip in Gedson. This is really dangerous. Gedson opens his body up. And it's fallen to Rafa Silva. And they get the first goal. Of the ICC tournament. And they have started this second half much better than us. No doubt about it. Eggy found himself almost in a defensive position there. But then decided against it. Stayed on the edge of the box. And just watch Rafa Silva. Just stroll in. Finish that one off. Not good. Eggy already very, very tired. And we're giving the ball away now. This isn't looking great. Corner here in the 65th minute. And that is all for Eggy. 65 minutes in his first game of the season. It's not a real game, but it's unfortunate. We didn't play well. The red arrow certainly didn't help. And also Inter Milan just not being very good today. Also didn't help. Can we salvage a point here at least? If we don't win this one, I'm pretty sure we can't win the cup. We also have PSG and City left to play. This was the game we needed to win. This was the easy game in inverted commas. Come on. Oh, when we're back into this, and it's Brozovic. It's a ball into the box from Perisic. And great awareness from Matora Martinez. On for Icardi to find Brozovic, the other substitute. Finishes confidently, and we're back in this. And that is full time here in the ICC, and it is a point apiece. This was the one where we needed the three points, really. And really, it was Benfica who probably deserved to win this one. Inter Milan looked poor. They've clearly been partying. And Eggy comes away with a six. Not great, but not awful. The red arrow always makes things difficult. It just makes you, turns you into a genuinely awful player. Can't remember how many points a red arrow actually takes off all of your stats, but it is significant. It really felt it today. Manchester City all looking very, very strong. Mendy, Danilo, left and right backs. Quality there. De Bruyne, Silva, Delph. Interesting. Bernardo Silva, right winger. I'm a huge, huge fan of him in real life. He is absolutely quality. He's got a lot of what makes David Silva arguably the best midfielder 
to ever have played in the Premier League. Maybe a bit of a big shout, but he's got to be up there. Sane Aguero, obviously terrifying. Uh, they've got Mane on the bench. They've got Douglas Costa, Gabriel Jesus, Danny Welbeck, Mkhitaryan. <laughs> Interesting. They've also signed Lichtsteiner. That must purely be for the banter or the anger. I can't see why. Uh, James Collins starts today. He's going to have his work cut out against Sergio Aguero. Let's get into it. That's why I had literally no clue that the ICC was started six years ago. I feel like I only heard about it last year. Apparently Spurs won it last year. That, that can't be right. How are they in the ICC? But anyway, Real Madrid have won it three times. They are the most successful team in the uh, tournament's history. It's... <sighs> It's a bit of a joke, isn't it, really? No one's going to be putting in full effort. What would be incredibly disappointing for Eggie is if he was to pick up an injury in it, which wouldn't be impossible. That sort of bad luck has certainly happened to me in PES 19 already, especially in Master League. We've had a rash of injuries. Hopefully, Eggie, again, we want to impress Spalletti. We don't want to get injured, and we would love a bit of silverware. It's unlikely, but we certainly need to beat City today. Eggie, looking, I love that white kit. That is a really nice kit. Let's do this. Oh, Bernardo Silva already in a lot of space. Find Sergio Aguero. This is nicely worked. David Silva, the back heel. Sane! And they're off the mark before Inter Milan had even touched the ball. And that is a goal we've seen a lot this season throughout PES 19. The ball across the box. The back heel to the second man. And then the finish. It's a great finish by Leroy Sane, the German, opening the scoring. It's not ideal. Sane puts a really dangerous ball in. It's well dealt with. Headed away and Eggy will get to it. Can we launch a break here? Eggy pushes it down the line looking for Ricardi. He's got Emmerich Laporte with him. Ricardi's able to take it down. Eggy makes the run. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Eggy will hit this first time. <laughs> it just sat up so nicely. I could not resist. Eggy lurking. Oh, there's a load of space for us here. That's a good ball. Eggy with the right foot effort. <laughs> that was very nicely worked. And Eggy certainly got a good connection on that. It was De Bruyne who came out to try and meet him. Claudio Bravo with another excellent save. Eggy ball into Valero on the counter here. Finds nine Golan. Oh, he can slip in Eggy. Indonesian brother to Indonesian brother. <laughs> there it is. The Indo connection links up for the first time in an Inter Milan shirt. And that is a particularly sweet goal for Eggy. Not just scoring against Premier League giants Manchester City. But there he is, his brother from another mother. And they embrace. That is absolutely beautiful to see. It's a good finish as well. Eggy started the attack, found Valero. Eggy's made a great run there. Perfectly timed ball from Nine Golan. He gets it onto that wand of a left foot. Strokes it past Claudio Bravo. And we're right back in this tie. Come on. Aguero now. Low ball into De Bruyne. Oh, Handanovic stands strong. Keeps himself big. Sane played in by Aguero. James Collins across. Handanovic forced into a great save. That's just not a matchup you want to see, is it? James Collins against Leroy Sane. That is a mismatch in pace if ever we've seen one. Sane gets the shot off. Handanovic, full stretch. What a save that is. Real pressure here from Manchester City though. De Bruyne will play it short into Danilo, but we win it back. And a break is certainly possible here. As Eggy is down the left-hand side. Oh, that's good defending though. How did we not get that away? Eggy, what a first touch that is. Finding Balde, he can slip through Ricardi. Eggy trying to get into the box. Icardi turns. Oh, it's not a good ball. It's easily cut out. But Icardi gets there. Surely a foul into the box. <sighs> really good opportunity here. And Vincent Company showing his age there. A little bit slow in the old reactions. I guess we just put a ball in to the danger area. Edge of the six-yard box. We don't want too much on this. It's a good one. <laughs> and we're up for it. So another corner here. This must be the fifth or sixth for Manchester City. They have not really whipped many into the dangerous area, but there they have. And we get it away. And now Eggy can break. That's why they don't put it into the air. Eggy squares it into Valero. He's got options left and right. Eggy's made a good run here. Plays it back to Valero. Oh, that's nicely worked. Oh, what a tackle that is from Vincent Company. Oh, no, and Eggy's down holding his shin. That is not good. Oh, God. Oh, God, please get up. We were talking about this. We just didn't want to get injured. We shouldn't have doubted Vincent Company. We did say he looked a bit past it. 
Oh, he looks to be okay, though. Okay, thank God for that. Danilo into silver. This first half pretty much over. Sane's ball will be dealt with, and that will be half time here. Well, it's been a great half. Aki getting his first goal of the season. It's been very even, except for Manchester City dominating possession. So it's all there for the taking. One moment of brilliance from either side could be what takes this one. It could well be Eggy. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful passing there. Oh, ridiculous. Aguero into Sane. This will be some goal. If he can finish it off, Handanovic again with a great save. But wow, that was vintage Manchester City. Gorgeous one-touch passing. Oh, that's absolutely lovely stuff. You've really got to give praise to the AI that, that they can do that. It's incredible, really, isn't it? That they can program footballers to play such fluid passing movement like that. It just looks so real when that happens. That should have ended in a goal, really. Oh, and again, Handanovic. Ridiculous save. Aguero, little back heel into Silva, now Sergio Aguero, James Collins can't really get close. Handanovic the only thing keeping us in this one. Eggy does really well though, to find Nine Golan with the little ball there. Can't get possession back though. Starting to have a little bit more joy here, Ricardi, through on goal, can fall to Eggy, yes it does! <laughs> Eggy, right place, right time. You know, when he starts to do that regularly, you just have to say it's more than just luck. He's in the right spot there, and he slides on his knees, embraces with his captain, who created the chance for him. Manchester City just giving us a bit of space in this second half, late on. Icardi there, Bravo with another great save, but Eggy sneaks in ahead of Benjamin Mendy. Finishes that one. That is us ahead. Incredible scenes here. Silva, out to Bernardo Silva, into Aguero, Handanovic with the save, Sane off the bar. And then the acrobatic overhead clearance from Nine Golan. Manchester City certainly feel aggrieved not to have levelled things up there. That looked to be a guaranteed second goal for them. Still plenty of time left for them to get back into this one. And Douglas Costa on the pitch now, as is Lichsteiner. He'll put a ball into Sane at the far, but that is awful. As an Arsenal fan, that is pretty realistic. High ball, looking for Icardi. Gets a flick on. Eggy wants it down the line. That's very well weighted. Eggy for the hat trick here. <laughs> oh, should have squared it. Should have squared that to Icardi. Icardi though, back to Eggy. No. Well, if City go on and score now, we'll be very disappointed because that should have been a simple third goal there. Square ball to Icardi would have done it. This will be it here in the ICC. Sane's low ball in. Could fall hit to Costa and Handanovic again. Keeps us in this one and that will be it here. Incredible work from Handanovic. Man of the match performance from our keeper. Probably still be man of the match for Eggy though with the two goals. But really, he should be getting an 8 or 9. I'd be amazed to see how many saves he had today. 10 shots on target from Manchester City. It is a man of the match performance. That is something quite special. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. Man of the match for the keeper in a game where another player has scored two. 11 saves from him today. He was a man mountain at the back. Can't deny him that. He can he can have that. Absolutely happy. Eggy's two goals. Great start to the season from him in terms of goal scoring. Hopefully we can continue them. And we get the all-important three points. Let's see how everyone else got on. So Benfica beating PSG. Really interesting. And Benfica now go top on goal difference. <sighs> wow. So we need Manchester City to do us a favour. And we need to beat PSG in this final game. Eggy up to 6.5 average rating. Much better. And it will all come down to this one. Well, it's been an exciting cup. Benfica game will seem like a missed opportunity if we do get the win today. But that is by no means a certainty as we go up against the uh, colossal PSG. Neymar's in there. Di Maria, Verratti, Mbappe, Cavani. It's a decent team, isn't it? Decent. Rabiot on the bench. He's 85 rated now. Wow. John Stones as well. Thiago Silva on the bench. Well, we start alongside Mario. Icardi on a blue arrow up top. Everyone else looking decent. This is a good squad. I like this side. Let's do it. So a draw could do it here, I guess. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Manchester City beating Benfica. We get a draw. And then we're done. Either that or a high-scoring win would pretty much guarantee it. There is the trophy we're playing for. It doesn't mean a hell of a lot. This is, again, 
a great warm-up for the Champions League. And if the Manchester City game is anything to go by, this could well be a decent season for Inter. Let's see how we fare against PSG. Nine going, picks up the clearance. It's sprayed wide out to Balde. That's a nice idea. Ball into Eggy. Takes it neatly. Oh! <laughs> and it gets a wicked deflection. But Eggy gets his third goal in the International Champions Cup with a healthy dose of luck on that one. But you've got to be in the right places. And as they say, they all count. But that's a great first touch. And it's a nasty deflection off Ferrati. Loops it over Ariola, And we're off the mark. in the ICC trophy... Now a real possibility. It's a great ball from Balde. Lovely first touch, Marquinhos. I don't know what he thought was happening there. But that is disgusting. Just tricks the keeper. The horrible deflection. Well, let's keep going. Come on. Neymar now into La Celso. Oh, Neymar played into a bit of space. This is really dangerous. Four blue shirts to aim for. Couldn't find a single one of them. And Eki's first time ball into Perisic is beautifully weighted. Now Icardi. Away from Marquinhos. I think he's made his way into the box here. Akadi goes all the way back. Oh, Perisic, lovely ball in. Square ball! Oh, Kimbembe. Really well there to read that. That's really unlucky. Eggy, though, skips away. And he's fouled there, edge of the box by Verratti. Who will be upset about the deflection. And he'll be upset about giving away a free kick. In such a dangerous position here. That's unlucky. Looks like gets some of the ball there. It's Eggy. Oh, don't take it ahead of us, please. Oh, it could be too much. It's not! <laughs> it's a second brace for Eki Milana. And that was absolutely unsavable. <laughs> well, if last season suggested that he certainly had the quality to play in Serie A, this International Champions Cup is maybe saying that he has the quality to perform on the very highest European stage. And that is beautifully curled into the top left-hand corner. Wow, what a start to this game. Eggy finds Mario. There's a lot of white shirts in this attack. There's a lot of space here for Perisic. Eggy's made an excellent run. Nine Golan back into him. What's wrong with that? He's offside. Come on. Oh, Nine Golan. <laughs> it was beautifully worked and then well finished by Eggy, although the goalkeeper had given up. I thought that was it. I thought that was the hat trick. First half hat trick there. Surely would have sealed this one. Perisic. Oh, lovely. Perisic can find Eggy now, near post, back to Mario, low ball into Icardi, swivels. Great save there, come on, we can put this one to bed. We've got him on the ropes. Oh, ball into Eggy, no, it's not, it's a, whoa! Oh, and Eggy takes out the keeper. It's probably going to be a yellow card when it's pulled back. Unlucky, I thought we could maybe have got to that one. That's unlucky, that's <laughs> unlucky there. We're putting him under great pressure. Far off. I think he's not even looking at him there. There's nothing in that. To be fair, the keeper could have got out of the way. That's playing for a foul if ever I've seen it. Oh, big tackle there. But Mbappe gets away still. Slips through Neymar. He's into the box here. Oh, what a covering tackle that is. And it's calmly played out as well. And Icardi with a great flick. Oh, Eggy now can push it through into Perisic. It's a long way ahead of him. Perisic, though, into the box. He's got Icardi and Eggy to look for. Ball back. Icardi on the turn. <laughs> he sneaks in for the hat trick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I mean, Mbappe, Di Maria, Cavani, Neymar. All of the stars in this PSG side. Eclipsed by this young Indonesian who's starting this season at an incredible pace. Some will say it's just the ICC. There's no doubt that everyone is trying as hard as they possibly can today. It was Eggy's ball through that found Perisic in the first place. Found himself in a good position in the box. Fell to Icardi first of all. And the keeper just pushes it back into his path. And Eggy again. Well, as we said, right place, right time is sort of his style. And we go into the half with a three-goal lead. And Eggy with a hat-trick. He's rewarded by PSG with a bit of tight marking as well. Shows how dangerous he is. He is becoming the main man. Neymar now though. A goal now for PSG would be crucial. But he can't find Cavani. The defending has been great. And that will be half-time here. Or will it? Will we get one more chance? Eggy's made an absolutely incredible run here. No. It really will be half-time now. But what a half that was. Eggy with three goals in 44 minutes. Obscene. Absolutely obscene. Right, let's see this out. Eggy flicks it into Icardi. Oh, what a ball out to Perisic. He's away from Di Maria. 
Eggy wants it first time. He's away from Marquinhos. Puts the ball in. It's not a great one. Will fall to Balde. <laughs> that is four goals. Four goals. You know, I'm pretty sure that Eggy has been a nightmare to PSG before. I'm pretty sure... Was it the first game for PSV in the Champions League that Eggy played? He dominated against PSG. I think it was. Maybe I'm misremembering that. But, wow. We've certainly made him look very, very poor today. Neymar. He's had plenty of space and time in this game. He's not been able to do anything with it as of yet. He's just basically allowed to wander into the box. Lays it back to Cavani. There is the first goal for PSG. I don't know what sort of defending that was, but it wasn't actual defending. So, right, come on. Let's not do this. Let's keep it tight. Oh, Cavani. Clever move there. He's away from his man. One-on-one -on -one with Handanovic now. Oh, <laughs> Cavani gets another back here with only eight minutes left in this. Surely not. Surely not. To be fair, we could do with the goal difference, so let's not concede any more. Even though it's unlikely we're going to concede two in these final few minutes. Two minutes left here. And Neymar into the box. Looks for Cavani. He'll turn, find Mbappe. Surely. Wow. Okay. About 30 seconds left in this one. We've still got one goal over them. But let's not give it away now. Come on, just pass it around. Give it to Eggy. We'll put it into the corner. Less than a minute left. Come, no, don't give it away. Don't give it away. Right, centre-back Eggy is back in. Mbappe. No. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Gets away from four Inter Milan players. It's a nothing ball in, though, but it's found Baniga. Cavani will turn. Oh, his shot is just wide. And Eggy celebrates. He gets a hat-trick today in what is a historic win for Inter. The Italian champions besting the French champions. And, well, again... Great performance from Handanovic. He had a fair few saves to make himself. But Eggy gets man of the match. 7.5. Wow. And the biggest, not the biggest day, just the ICC. But, oh, and Benfica lose. So we win it. <laughs> First bit of silverware straight off the bat. Eggy with five goals in three appearances. He's up to 50% manager trust. That will certainly help us going into next season. And, wow, what a performance against the biggest sides in world football. And we go into now the Italian Super Cup. So we could win uh, five cups. We could win five cups. Wow. So International Champions Cup done. Super Cup next. Join me for that one. I'll see you in a bit.